using the Schedule Build plugin in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.3. Now, before we go and take a look at the sample job, let's go and review the documentation for the Schedule Build plugin. And what the Schedule Build plugin allows us to do is it adds the capability to schedule a build at a later point in time. You may be in a situation where you know that certain agents are not available during the daytime hours, but you want to get your job to run at a very specific point in time. That's what the Schedule Build plugin allows you to do. Now let's go and review the plugin installation. So we'll go back to our controller, Manage Jenkins, Plugins. Let's go over to the Installed Plugins and let's search for Schedule Build. And we can see already that the Schedule Build plugin is installed on this controller. It may or may not be installed on your controller, so if you're wanting to use this functionality, you'll need to go and install this plugin. Next up, let's go and take a look at what the configuration options are for this plugin. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins, System, and then let's go ahead and scroll down to the section for Schedule Build. What you can see here is we have two fields that we can fill in. The first one is setting the default schedule build time. Now, once you get into a job, you can go ahead and override that, but this is just the default. So if you know specifically for your jobs, 10 p.m. is okay, then you can just go ahead and set the value here to 10 p.m. But what is 10 p.m.? Well, that's what the second field is for. You can set it for the time zone. So based on how you set the value for your time zone here is when the job will start based on that time. Let's go ahead and go over and take a look at our job. So we'll go back up to dashboard, one of the first things I want to call out here, you'll notice over on the far right hand side, you'll see a calendar icon. This has been added from the schedule build plugin. Let's go ahead and go into the job. So once you're inside of a job, you'll see a schedule build item on the left nav. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can see right now that this is set to the 10 p.m. default. That's the time we set as our global default. And then it just picks what today is. Let me go ahead and click on schedule for this. So what this means is on November 1st, 2023 at 10 p.m. New York time, this job will run. So let's go ahead and click on schedule. What we'll see down here in the build history is we'll see pending and currently in the quiet period and it expires in 11 hours. Now, what is 11 hours? Well, that's 10 p.m. at the time I'm recording. Now, if for some reason you've scheduled the job and you want to cancel it so it does not run at 10 p.m., you can just go ahead and click on the red X associated with that pending job. And then you'll see that that job is now gone. Let's take a look and see what happens when we actually do a build when a job is already scheduled. So let's go ahead and schedule this job again for the exact same time. And let's say between now and 10 p.m. I need to run the job manually. So I go ahead and click on build now. What happens is the job that was pending is now actually run. So if I need to also run it again at 10 p.m., I'm going to need to go back in and reschedule that build. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.